a middleweight matchup between Nick Diaz and Yoel Romero. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. Romero is six years his senior. Diaz will have a three-inch reach advantage. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Well, so much mixed martial arts history has been made within these very walls. We're always thrilled to come back. Great to have you with us as we broadcast live from Saitama Super Arena here in Japan. Nice hammer fist. Posture's up. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Switching stances here. Oh, big kick! And now starting to snap off that jab. Well, whatever works, now he switches his stance again. He grabbed the Kimura here. Got the double wrist lock position. From here, he wants to rotate his body and put his leg on his opponent's back and then put his other leg on the back of his opponent's and he head. got out. Wow, that was a deep one. Inside control here. Slides him over, and nice reversal here. Just over three minutes to go. Well, he moved right into that straight punch, Joe. Left the body wide open, and his opponent nicely took advantage. Let's see if he adjusts here moving forward. There's a nice kick. Oh! He's in big, big trouble here. Huge left hand. That's a big block, oh, Joe. No! Oh, huge right hand! He's got him hurt here. How about that chin? Oh! Under two minutes to go. Wow, look at that kick down, man. Reversal. Very nice. Kick to the body by Yoel. Soldier of God gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. He's got the clinch. Joey missed with that straight right attempt. Kick to the body is there. He's got the clinch up against the cage. Good takedown defense. Under a minute now to go on the round. Standing knee there by Romero. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, good punches from the top here. He's trapped in half guard. 15 seconds. Oh, he got reversed. Again! Round two next. Stop, stop, stop. Saved by the bell. That's the end of the round. You heard the horn. And it came just as he was stunned by a huge shot right before the end of the round. So, saved by the belt. Back to the stool. 60 seconds with which to... Here you go, step around. You ready? You ready? Second go. round here. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Those punches are very hard. Really starting to put to oh. oh, he's hurt. Nice defense there. Single leg attempt, no good. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Romero's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. 
Hit him with the jab. The soldier of God gets in the clinch. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. He's doing a very nice job protecting his head here. Just reached the midpoint of the fight. And he connects there, Joe. Huge block there. Yeah, it's, it's freak. It's like he's cheating. You know, it's like he's got rocks in his gloves. Well, he leaned right into that hook shot, Joe, and that is certainly something that bears watching here moving forward. I know he's confident in his chin. Oh! The soldier of God going for the takedown here. Nothing to him. Got him with a punch. And he switches his stance yet again. Oh, a huge block there. Back to over under. He's got double underhooks. So some separation here, Joe. Another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Oh. He hurt him. Man has his chin been tested early. Vicious shot to the body. Ten seconds to go here. Let's see what happens. Oh, man. Round three next. All right, so there is the horn. The round is over. Couple knockdowns for him there. Big round from Diaz. Those were two huge knockdowns, and both of them were very close to stopping this contest. Let's take a look at it again here. And here, a perfectly placed punch results in a knockdown. Very exciting round. Brittany Palmer doing her thing as you... Third round underway. He's definitely going to want to start this round off fast to try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. Oh! He's, he's hurt. Japanese necktie is locked in tight. That's a deep choke. He's really cranking down this Japanese necktie now. Incredible! Just absolutely incredible. He got the choke for the tap. Well, you can tell he has been working hard on his submissions in his training camp. That was a near-perfect setup on that choke. Sunk it in deep, and the opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. He chose to tap out. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Bruce Buffer has Ladies the and official gentlemen, decision. Referee Mario Yamasaki's called a stop to this contest at one minute, five seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz there in all his glory, ladies and gentlemen.